Hi everyone. We will make a restaurant bill calculation application using Python Tikinter. I will make the desktop application step by step with you again. So let's start. I am transferring the libraries I will use. I will create a desktop window. I set its size and title. I am using the mail node function so it doesn't shut down suddenly. I created an empty desktop window. I am starting to add objects one by one. I need the frame to add the objects. I create a frame object and set its position to top. I am creating a label object. I am syncing the frame. So the object will be positioned in frame 1. I set the text and its type thanks to parameter sent to the function. I am setting the position of the object with the grid function. I added a label to the desktop window. Now I want to show the current date. I will use the date time library that I transferred earlier. I am syncing the current date with a variable. I am specifying a date object. I am sending year, month and day values to the function in order. I adjust its position with the grid function. I set the row value to 1. Because I want it to be below the object I just created. I added the date to the desktop window. Now I will create a second frame object. I will synchronize the entry and label objects that I will create shortly with this frame. I am creating a label for order now. I am syncing with the frame I just created. We learned that we adjusted its position with the grid. I will continue by increasing one by one each grid function. Let's take a look at the desktop window. Object edit. Let's create an entry object. I determine its position with the grid function. I set the column value to 1 to add on the right side of the label object. Edit entry object. I will create a few more label and entry objects in the same way. I am creating a label for food price. Add it to desktop application. Let's create an entry for the food price. The object has been added to the application. I am creating label for drink price.
object edit. I am creating an entry. I'll show you the objects are added in sequence. Edit entry. I will create label and entry for dessert price. Edit label. Now let's create the entry. Edit entry. Finally, I will create label and entry for type. Edit label. Now let's add entry. Edit entry object. Now I have already calculate button. I can use the button function. I adjust the physical properties of the button with the parameters sent to the function. Finally, I will create the result label. When the button is pressed, the result will be displayed after the calculation is done. We can't see it yet. Now I am creating a string var variable. This variable must be synchronized with the text of the result object. I will do it soon. I have to constantly update the variable based on the prices entered by the user. I am creating a calculation function. All values entered in the entry object are of the string type. I need to convert all of these to integer data type. I can access values with get. I am creating a variable and doing aggregation. I am updating the variable I just created with the set function. Now let's associate the text function with the button. I am using keyword command. I associate the string var value I created with the result text. The application is complete. Let's test it. When the calculation button is pressed, the total value is displayed in the result object. The application is complete. Thanks for watching. 
Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel to support us.